Well, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I, lo I love those turtles. And I tell you, we, we got a lot of beautiful things in this show. Two hours of gardening. I, I love this. And this is one of my favorite, favorite structure plants. And that's what I call this because it does give you that nice tropical look in the garden. Um, and these are the Canova Cannas. Philip Watson Designs, that's what I bring to you uh, today. And it, th these are things that I use in my gardens for my clients. So uh, they're, they're not just happy. They want to get out and take pictures of it. But the Canova Cannas are unlike any Cannas that you've had before because they're compact. And this is M8984. Again, that is M8984. You're getting three in this collection. You see the beautiful scarlets there? The hummingbirds are wild about this. It's, it's like a bullseye. They want to come right to it. Then you've got that big, nice, wide leaves. And you also get the beautiful yellow in this collection. And it's a nice butter yellow, not the harsh school bus yellow that the old-fashioned cannas had. These only get three to four feet tall, not six or seven feet tall like the old-fashioned ones did, and they would often fall over. But there's a stand of the yellow ones right there. Um, and just a beautiful color that brightens the garden. It goes with everything. I always like to throw in some light colors and a, a nice butter yellow in the garden. It's like dabbling sunshine all over everything else that you have planted. Then the, the other side of the spectrum would be the beautiful scarlet. Now, the old-fashioned uh, scarlet uh, cannas um, were kind of a hard red with a lot of orange in it. There's no orange in this. This is straight up stop sign red, but it also has this deep burgundy foliage. Look at the dark foliage. The other two choices, uh, not choices, uh, in the collection, you get all three, by the way. Um, you've got this dark foliage with this one. Sometimes I just cut the leaves to use in flower arrangements rather than cutting all of the flowers. But in containers, this would be the centerpiece for your container. And you can plant other things that uh, get not quite as tall and things that spill over. For my clients who have swimming pools, I do big pots of these around uh, the pool. It's just a great look because they don't fall apart. They do love the heat. Um, if you've got an area of the garden also that gets wet where everything else rots, the cannas will do beautifully in that area. Now, these are classified as annuals because they really are tropical. But let me tell you a little trick. Because a lot of people are thinking, oh, I don't want to dig that up. Well, you know, they're worth it even if, if, you, if you don't dig them up and just have them for one year. But I put a foot and a half of mulch here in Pennsylvania, where I live near Philadelphia, on the top of them after the first frost. Mine have come back for seven years in my garden here in Philadelphia. That's what they will do if you give them a little bit of love like that and plant it next to a wall or the house. But you're getting all three colors in this collection, only three to four feet tall, and nice, strong, strong plants, beautiful flowers. And by the way, um, when they get the little seed pods on them, just cut off the individual seed pods, and they keep sending up more and more. But in an area that is hot, hot in your garden or really, really sunny, and some things don't hold up to it, these will. I mentioned that they would take uh, the, a really wet area. Also, if the area gets dry, they're not going to fall apart. Some things can't stand it. Um, these are really, really tough. And my grandmother had cannas, uh, like she had the spider flowers too, but she did not have this variety, which behaves itself. It has got much better structure than the old-fashioned ones. And um, if you want to look, Philip Watson Designs time-release fertilizer is also available, and I fertilize everything with that. But to have something that's going to work in your garden, and by the way, I've got my whiskey barrels coming up next week. You'll see those. So if you need containers, keep your eye out for Philip Watson Designs whiskey barrels. But these are great in containers. They're great in the ground. And the long borders that I do for my big, big clients, you know, where they've got massive borders, is um, every four or five feet, I plant a canna, but not in the back of the border in the very front of the border. See, that shows it in the back. I bring them to the front, but I don't have a solid line of them. And that creates windows. Imagine that you're going down Fifth Avenue and you're looking at all the different windows. That's what it makes your flower border look at, look like. 
you're just going down and you're seeing the, these different forced perspectives. And my clients love that look. They're not quite sure what I did, but they think, oh, this looks really, really great, but they're not quite sure what happened. I know what happened and you can know what happened because you can have something that other people won't have. They'll have the cannas that are too tall and you'll have the ones that are exactly right, like Baby Bear said. You're getting three in the collection. You're getting a yellow one, which is the perfect butter yellow. And then you're getting that beautiful scarlet one, which is the absolute, you know, the bull's going to come chasing you. It's, it's that kind of red. But the yellow one is the perfect yellow. Uh, and I use it to illuminate everything else in my garden. I have it in containers. I also have it in the ground. And there's that red one with a beautiful bronze foliage. Any place you want something to be beautiful, an eye-catching thing, because not only do you have the beautiful color, you've got the great texture. So this is M898-4. Don't miss out on my Canova cannas. And thanks so much for coming on with Philip Watson Designs. And Amy is waiting in the wings to cheer you on on this great gardening day. Thank you. Hi, Philip. 